a mysterious object appears on the cameras of the International Space Station. Whatever this object is, it doesn't appear to be anything that's docked with ISS before. Moments after the object materializes, the live video feed goes down. What's going on? Is there something NASA doesn't want us to see? January 29th, 2014. The International Space Station orbits 220 miles above Earth. The cameras of its live video feed operate 24 hours a day. Amateur observers are looking at the live feed from the International Space Station when they see a strange, yellow, elliptical-shaped object. People watching the footage on Earth notice the object seems to hold the same position relative to the space station for several minutes. Just minutes after it appears in the live feed from the International Space Station, the camera cuts out. So the question becomes, is this a coincidence or is it something that NASA doesn't want you to see? Whenever we see something unidentified next to ISS, we have to assume it's potentially dangerous. When the footage goes viral on the internet, many commenters claim the object is nothing more than a piece of orbital debris. Some people surmise this could be a piece of space junk, a pretty big piece of space junk, and that would be a little bit worrying to be so close to the ISS. A piece of debris of this apparent size would be a deadly threat to the ISS. But the mysterious yellowish object doesn't behave like space junk. It's not just a piece of space junk because these pieces of debris are orbiting the Earth at 17 and a half thousand miles an hour. They're not going to come up to the station and just sit next to it nicely like that. Experts consider the possibility the object could be part of the existing infrastructure of the ISS. Now this thing wasn't on the schematics of the space station. That would have been an obvious thing to check. So it's something else. This appears to be attached to the Russian Soyuz site and doesn't appear to be any of those other kinds of modules. The Soyuz spacecraft is the main form of transport for astronauts traveling to and from the ISS. So this thing was right near the docking port of the Russian Soyuz module. I mean, was it trying to come aboard? Did it have permission to come aboard? Could this mysterious yellow object be an unidentified docked spacecraft? The shape of the object is unusual. It does appear to have some point to it, uh, which could indicate that it intends some sort of atmospheric penetration. The object's aerodynamic streamlined proportions lead some observers to theorize this could represent a new top secret prototype spacecraft. NASA and other space agencies have been trying for years to develop uh, something that would be very important for space travel, and that's reusable vehicles. The curves are similar to a reusable hypersonic spacecraft that could make atmospheric flights. NASA has two known craft bearing a superficial resemblance to the mystery object, hypersonic test vehicles called the X-51 and the X-43. They have set world speed records for airplanes, although they're unmanned, uh, of Mach 5, 6, uh, Mach 7, that's called hypersonic. But neither of the known NASA craft are designed for space missions. There have been some who speculated that this object was the next iteration of the X-51 or the X-43. Uh, I don't believe so. The X-43 and the 51 were both what are called air breathers, and that means they had to have atmosphere in order to fly. NASA does have another engine system in development that could get a craft out of the atmosphere and flying through space. The magnetohydrodynamic drive converts the energy of a craft's movement into electricity. Then it uses the electricity to vaporize gas or liquid, turning it into a propellant. The design has no moving parts and is already proven to work. Once you get out of the atmosphere at 17,000 miles an hour, you can just keep going. So all you need to do is uh, stock up with uh, fuel and air, and you can go as far as you want. Whoever develops this technology first has a massive edge. They will make space their own backyard, and everyone else will be stuck playing catch-up. Analysis of the image appears not to support the idea the object is an advanced prototype spacecraft. This bright object here could actually be a lens reflection of the solar panels which are brightly lit on this Soyuz spacecraft. Or it can be an internal reflection off of instrumentation in the window through which this video was taken. 
But the simple explanations do not satisfy everyone. It wasn't like a piece of lint on the lens or some optical illusion of some sort because the earth moved beneath it, the light came and went, shadows came and went, and it seemed to have an actual presence. So that's mysterious. Coming up, panic spreads as scientists discover living organisms falling from the sky in a mysterious blood red rain. We put them under the microscope and we see they are biological. I don't know what they are, I can't tell you. A storm of blood red water falls from the skies of southern India. It looks like a red rain of blood, like something out of a biblical plague. Analysis of the strange fluid seems to show the presence of something living within it. It seems like the more we learn about this organism, the less we know. July 25th, 2001. Showers of bizarre red rain shocked the people of Kerala in southern India. Lots of villagers collected uh, buckets and bottles full of water that was, in some cases, almost blood red. When the blood rain keeps falling for two months, fear spreads among the province's 30 million inhabitants. It wasn't a simple event that happened in one tiny place. It was over a widespread region, and the amount of water involved was huge. If something like this is going to happen in your hometown, you're going to want to know what's going on. Two Indian scientists decide to investigate the mystery. The two scientists who investigate this go out to collect samples to find out why the rain is red. Dr. Godfrey Lewis and Dr. Santosh Kumar gather samples of the mysterious rain and speak to witnesses about the events leading up to the rainfall. Scientists ask local people and discover there was a loud boom just before the red rain started to fall. An official report suggests the loud bang could have been a sonic boom caused by a meteor exploding as it hit Earth's atmosphere. A disintegrating meteor could explain the red rain. If the meteor exploded, dust could have remained in the atmosphere, and that could have affected the color of the next rain when it started to fall. It's a plausible theory. Earth is bombarded by up to 78,000 tons of meteorites every year. 